Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the Sips and Gigs podcast. Here's your hosts, Nikki Intenman and Steph Joplin. Well, hello. <laughs> well, that was very, I was not ready for that. I caught her off so. guard. She caught me off guard. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Welcome back to Sips and Gigs, guys. I'm, I'm actually really excited for this one. It's going to be fun because we were just talking about in our last episode how Thanksgiving is kind of like the middle child. You know, mm-hmm. they don't get a whole lot of recognition. They don't. So we're going to show you today. We're going to show you. <laughs> we're not going to show you anything because this is all audio. <laughs> yes. We're going to tell you. We're going to tell you tips and tricks that we've either found out ourselves. Mm-hmm. We've Googled and we're like, oh, that's so <laughs> yeah. smart. We've seen on social media. <laughs> yes. Ways to make your Thanksgiving like a little less stressful, especially if you're hosting. Like this yes. is mainly for the host, right? Yes. Or I guess if somebody else is hosting like a way that you could help alleviate their stress as well. Yeah. If you're co-hosting, if your parents are hosting, helping them out. Um, Which is crazy because I like Thanksgiving. Like I love waking up and just eating and drinking early. Like I was telling my mom this on the phone the other day. Oh, the drinking early. That's my favorite. Like any excuse to like have a mimosa (laughs) nine o'clock in the morning. Oh, coffee and Bailey's. Good morning. (laughs) Bind me up. (laughs) But I was like, I loved that feeling. My mom was like, we didn't have like a whole lot of Thanksgiving traditions that I remember. I was like, I remember waking up and like that Christmas parade was on. Yeah, Macy's Remember, Day. It was like the first time that you see Santa Claus and then it was like into football. It was like that and, war- and you in the kitchen cooking. Like that was, that was the cozy memory. I agree. I love it. I do too. And I feel like, like you were just saying, the, the Macy's Day parade was a big tradition for us mm-hmm. and with my grandparents. They loved it. So we, it was always on. But the one thing I love about Thanksgiving in the West, like in Colorado, and you can understand in Montana is like that crisp air where it's not typically not has snowed yet. So you can like wake up, have like a nice cozy cup of coffee. But then the afternoon after like lunch, we're all playing ball outside. Or yes. playing catch. We're going for a walk. Like I like yeah. that being able to not just be stuck in our house like, like we typically are for Christmas. <laughs> right. Totally. No, it's like it's yeah. a it's a more of like a fall. Everybody's obsessed yes. with fall. That's like this holiday should be the biggest because it is the fallest yes. of all the holidays. And there's no pressure for presents. Like it is truly about like football getting fucked up and food, right? Yes. Like literally <laughs> just and all of obviously those things. being thankful and then you know just enjoying the company that you have and being very yeah. thankful blessed stressed yeah. and blessed. <laughs> <laughs> live laugh love <laughs> you and your one-liners are slaying it right now slaying. live laugh love farmhouse family live, laugh love everybody grab those signs from your closet and put them out for thanksgiving but the core done do you like do you like to be bring the main dish i feel like you strike me as more of like the appetizer Oh yeah. Appetizers. Or, I've never or, like, made a turkey dish. yet. I'm still too terrified. I'm like, eventually one day we will take on Thanksgiving on our own and have to cook a turkey. Yeah. <laughs> I just called it a chicken earlier. So clearly I don't even know the difference. <laughs> I would be the person that would, it would be frozen in my freezer until the morning of, and then I, I would like, call shit. my mom and be like, wait, what's going on? She's like, you're supposed to thaw it out six days before. What are you doing? <laughs> I had to, my mom broke her arm in high school. Um, um, or she had wrist surgery. So I had to help. What's it called? When you like pull the, the shit out of the Ooh, chicken, right? Yeah. So you had to like stick your hand in, Get pull the out the neck and the gizzard. Yeah. And then she like makes her gravy from them. And I'm like, per- I can like permanently remember. Yes. I remember gagging and being like, who does this? And now I love it. I love oh, yeah. it for that It's shit. the best thing ever. It is. It's- so good. Like real gravy from oh. the turkey. Watching the and neck my mom, there, I'm like, mm. and my mom would put her stuffing inside the turkey. Oh yeah, Oof. it's the best. Oh, oh my god, can we I'm get so like an for amen for stuffing? A, it's just bread. God, I know. It's, just it's so warm good. bread, and it's so, so good. good. I hate stuffing, and I'm like, who what? hates? I know who hates stuffing. He loves mashed potatoes. He's like, I could eat seven gallons of mashed potatoes, and I just love the tradition of Thanksgiving, like just turkey mashed potatoes, Thanksgiving 